Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ricardo. And for those of you who are joining me for the very first time, welcome and please do consider subscribing. I just want to come here today to pour a word of encouragement into somebody. This is just a video that was, you know, fed to my spirit to share with somebody. I just feel it deeply in my spirit that somebody is going through a difficult time and they don't know, they don't understand how how they can be a Christian and be going through this situation and they don't know what to do or how what to do in this sense. So I felt so deep in my spirit before I started this video. Initially, I was supposed to be doing something else, but I didn't want to forget to pour this word out into somebody's um, life today. And I just want to tell you something. Sometimes you have to be real for real with God. What is the sense you going to God knowing that what you really want to say to him is not what you're really saying to him. You have to realize that you serve a God, an all-knowing God who knows the start to the end, the beginning to the finish. He knows your life. He knows your story. He's the creator of it. So you have to start being real for real with God because sometimes we'll be praying and we're not truly praying for what we should be praying for because we feel some kind of some kind of guilt, shame, condemnation because you're doubting because we're, we're we don't know how to go through life with this struggle, but saying we're a Christian and being faithful to God. You have to understand. He tells us to rejoice and give thanks in all things because all things works together for our good. We don't see that physically because the things that are happening in our lives they happen you know, spiritual be, spiritually before it becomes a physical thing in our lives. So sometimes the trials is there to build your character. Sometimes the tribulation is there to let you trust more in God. So you might be going through a difficult time today and you feel like you don't have any place to go to to vent how you're truly feeling. Because if you should say this to your brothers and sisters in Christ, maybe they're going to tell you just one word. Trust in God. You can't doubt God. Boy, you can't doubt, doubt, doubt God. Girl, you can't doubt. Why you doubt? You know, they will start to put these things on you, which they themselves are currently doing or have done in some point in their life, in whatever season in their life. So I'm here to remind you that in order for God to bless you, you have to become real. He wants the real you, the true you. He wants you to tell him exactly how you're feeling from the depths of your heart because he knows, he already knows your thoughts. He knows everything about you. He knows what you really want to say to him. And he's just waiting for you to truly open it. He wants to build that direct communication with your relationship with you, that personal relationship with you. When you love somebody, you are able to tell them how you truly feel. You know, you telling God how you truly feel doesn't make you not have faith in him. It, you're not, you having doubt doesn't mean that you don't trust God. It means that probably your flesh needs to be carried under the subjection because your flesh is the one that is really going on with all the antics, making you feel the way you're feeling. Because that's why he tells us to walk up to the spirit. But he also calculated that we're human beings and we're in the flesh. So the flesh fights against the spirit every single day, vice versa. So God understands that. So you can go to God and tell him everything that you think you can't. Everything. He wants that. He wants that with you. He's your, he's your heavenly father. He wants. He has your best interest at heart. He has a plan and a hope and a future for you. But you know, sometimes you, you're pretending with God and God can't bless the real, he can't bless the pretending version of you. He wants to bless the real you. He wants the relationship with the real you. There are moments in my life when I realize that I might not be praying the way I, I'm supposed to. I might not be desiring the things of God like I, I used to or I'm supposed to. And I will go directly to God to tell God, hey, this ain't right. This ain't what's going on. I don't feel this way anymore. What is going on? And it, it allows me to be able to have somebody at the highest power to hold me accountable, accountable for, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do. So he says, oh, you're feeling like this? When was the last time you did that? When was the last time you did this? Maybe you're distracted. Why are you giving so much attention to this or that? So if I was pretending like this wasn't happening, I wouldn't have had that response, response from God to to show me where, where my problem was coming from. So today I want to encourage you to start being real for real with God because in doing so, you'll find that God will give you the answer, the solution to the problem that you're facing because he, he, has, all the, he, has, he has all the answers. You know, we might not have it, but he has everything. The whole entire world in his hands. 
That's who he is. So you going to God and being vulnerable to God or being honest with God doesn't mean that you don't trust God anymore. It doesn't mean that you don't have faith in him anymore. It doesn't mean that you're losing your faith or you're turning away from God. You're a human being and you're going to have the flesh always fighting against the spirit. And sometimes when we slack up on our fasting and the spiritual things that gives us muscles it just to remain faithful to God because we lack, you know, I'm, I've been fasting, not me, but I've, I'm just giving an example. You might not be fasting or forgotten to fast or you stop fasting and you're just, you know, doing worldly things or you just, the, the things that you feed, it will be glorified. That will get the strength. That will get all that you're giving. You're giving food. For example, you're feeding one, you have two animals, you have two dogs. You're feeding this one every day, but this one, no. What's going to happen? This dog is going to become malnourished He's going to get sick. He's going to not be able to do the things that he normally does as a dog, while the other one will be happy, joyful, and ready to go in the presence of you all the time. So it's the same thing. You got to be very, very cautious in what you feed, your flesh and your spirit. Feed the flesh not, but feed the spirit that you may not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Amen. So God bless y'all. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If this has been a blessing to you, do not forget to like and share this with somebody. All right? God bless you.